guys, welcome to the show. I'm Agent Ducky, and today I'd like to switch things up a bit. I hope it makes for a more enjoyable show. Uh, let's get it started with a game that rewrote the formula on the action adventure genre. In 2005, the third person action genre was flipped upside down when Resident Evil 4 arrived for the GameCube. Not only did it change the way Resident Evil game was presented, but also revolutionized the way we play games in the third person perspective. With the ability to control the camera on our own, you do not have to deal with the crappy camera angles that the first Resident Evil games were known for. Resident Evil 4 occurs six years after the events of Resident Evil 2. We rejoin Heartthrob, Leon S. Kennedy, he is sent to rescue the president's daughter in an unnamed Spanish country. Six years have passed since the fall of Raccoon City and the assumed end of the Umbrella Corporation. Leon is not welcome with open arms to the Spanish community. They are immediately hostile towards him in an attempt to just do his job. He has to use brutal force. Ermagert, police brutality! After a little bit of running around the less than beautiful countryside, finds out that there is a cult in this village, Los Illuminados, and they want him to leave. After knocking Mr. Kennedy unconscious by one of the chiefs of the cult, he is injected with a virus, Los Plagas, a mind-controlling parasite. He eventually finds the president's daughter, Ashley, locked up in a church. They discover that both of them have been injected with the virus, and they need to find a cure. As well, Los Illuminados has been using the president's daughter and the virus as ransom to the United States to financially back the cult. No longer will the United States think they can police the world forever. So, we kidnap the president's daughter in order to give her our power and then send her back. Along the way, Leon is helped by radio by Hunnigan and by a researcher named what? Louise. Oh shit! I must have dropped him when I was running away from them. They point him in the direction of where he should go next, and also helps him fight against hordes of villagers. They're called the Los Illuminados. Los Illuminados? <laughs> That's a mouthful. During his vacation, Leon will come across all types of enemies, trying to stop him from enjoying this beautiful brown and dead country. Mostly common Spanish villagers, guys with bags on their heads building chainsaws, and some mutated- Oh my god, what the fuck is that? To unleash his police brutality on unsuspected Spanish villagers, Leon starts with your everyday pistol, and then a shotgun during the first major fight. During the game, you will come across merchants who flash you Oh yeah. And show you his goods. Mmm, I like what I see. He will sell you better guns and upgrades to your current guns, as well as more space to carry all these guns. Cause you can't be Rambo without a huge case full of guns and shit. Not to help fuel this unhealthy obsession for guns, enemies drop money as well as gems and objects found and sold for more money to the merchant. Some treasures can be combined to make items worth even more money. The healing items from the original game are back. The herbs and first aid sprays. But there is an additional herb. It is the yellow herb. This one gets you higher. Um, I mean higher life. Yeah. This one increases your health slightly. It can be paired with the green herb, or it can be paired with the red and green herb together. As well as chicken eggs and fish you can catch and eat to restore your health. Leon will also meet up with people from his past, like Ada Wong and Jack Krauser and a special appearance by the one and only Alberto Wesker. The main villain, Sadler, is the leader of Los Luminados. He is one you face at the end of the Tour de whatever the hell you call this hellhole. After completing the game, you open up many things, like the hardest difficulty called Professional Mode, new costumes, infinite ammo, and special guns, as well as other game types and additional content, like separate ways where you play Ada Wong, who goes on the same adventure as Leon, but in a different direction, What's so and funny? gets cooler guns. I wish I got a crossbow. In addition to separate ways, you unlock one of the staples of the later Resident Evil games, 
mercenaries, where you must kill as many enemies as possible in a given time limit. So in a nutshell, Resident Evil is really fun, and it has replayability, uh, there's a variety of weapons to choose from, and frustration is to a minimum because of frequent checkpoints and saves. There's not many negatives to the game, but if I had to choose, I would say some sounds are outdated, and it's not very scary. Only in the beginning it's actually scary. After you upgrade your weapon, it's not scary at all. I'm Agent Ducky, and thanks for watching.